Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today, happy Christmas. Today we are celebrating the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. I read this will be coming from Prophet Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7 to 10. A response to Psalm, our second reading will be coming from a response to Psalm will come from Psalm 98, verse 3C and D. A second reading will be coming from St. Paul's letter to the letter to the Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1 to 6. A gospel message will come from John Gospel chapter 1, verse 1 to 18. The theme of our message is that the world took flesh and dwelt among us. And that's why today, in the gospel message, we're told that the word was with God. And word, the word was God before the beginning. And the word was God. And through this word, everything was created. And the word was life. And this life gives to light to all the people, nations. And this light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot quench it. Yes. That word that two flesh is God, is life. It's through me everything we are created. And that word is life. And is the light of the world. And we're told somebody came to witness for this word. For this light. And this John the Baptist. He's not the light. He was only coming to witness for the light so that people would come to believe God. And now why? God, people should come to believe him. And he spoke about it. And people should believe God that is coming. And when God just, John proclaimed this message, saying the true light that enlightens every nation is coming to the, has come into the world, that true light has come into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and yet the world knew him not. He came to his own, and his own people received him not. But to all who receive him, he gave the privilege of being called children of God, sons of God. Yes, the world that is too flesh is among us. We came to us, and we rejected him. But all who re accepted him, he gave the privilege to be called sons of God. And these people are no more bought by the will of man, or by the flesh, but by the God himself, the Father, by the grace of God himself. We are born again when we accept this word. We are born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So when you accept this word, you are born again by the word. And the one became flesh and dwelt among us. It became flesh and dwelt among us. Full of grace and truth, we have beheld his glory. Glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. We saw the glory of the only begotten Son. The world that took flesh and dwelt among us. And now why John bore witness to him still? He said, the one coming after me ranked before me, for he is before me. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen the God, the only begotten Son, who is the, at the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. He said, who made him known to us. Do you see the word that took flesh and stayed among us? And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the psalmist who understood this so well today, that's why today Prophet Isaiah prophesies about this word. 
How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good tidings, who publishes peace, and who brings good tidings, who brings good tidings of good, who publishes salvation, who say to Zion, you are God reigns. Listen, you watchmen lift up their voices together. That is Isaiah prophesizing what will happen when the world will flesh and dwell among us. And now why the book of Hebrew today was telling us that God has spoken to us in different forms, but at the last, he has spoken to us through his own son. That is the last stage of it. He has spoken to us through his own son. Who refreshes the glory of God and bears the very stamp of his nature, upholding the universe by his word of power. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has obtained is more excellent than theirs. We are told, and again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels worship him. He's telling us this word that too fresh, came among us, is superior to every word. It's the stamp of the image of the Father. It's the true nature of him. And has spoken to us himself. And now why the psalmist wonders to this so well today, this say, all the ends of the earth shall have. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. We have all seen him. There are no two ways about it. May God help us understand that the world to flesh and dwelt among us. And for all except it to have the privilege to call children of God. And it's above all and for all. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the privilege of stay benefiting from the world that took flesh among us. And we accepted it and we are called children of God. And of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. <laughs>